You can see the bird up there in the sky. There it is. And we're sort of checking out this power pole here. Too bad. So today we're mapping with the Matrice 210 RTK and we're mapping with a 15 millimeter lens which is a good wide angle lens uh, that's uh, attached to the X5S camera and we're also going to be getting the 90 millimeter camera here and see how that produces imagery. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. And we're also going to be looking at these power lines that are out here. So here is the, the Matrice and then uh, up here we're going to be mapping some of these power lines and just looking at the transformers to see uh, how that looks with that 90 millimeter. So this power line inspection drone is uh, pretty powerful. Uh, the Matrice has been performing very well, uh, but again the RTK is having a little trouble connecting to the drone and that could be a function of the particular model that we have or maybe there's a little defect in it. We, we don't know yet. We're working through that. This guy here is the unit. Uh, it's supposed to be having a green light right here, uh, but we're not seeing that green light come on to show that it has a link. Uh, and also, when it links to the drone, this light will change color as well. So, uh, we're having a little trouble linking this thing to the drone to get a successful RTK stabilization for the flight. It's important to note that this RTK system that comes with the Matrice 210 RTK does not geotag the images with RTK. The images are geotagged, but they're only done with the regular GPS that you would find on a Phantom 4 Pro. It's very similar to that on the Matrice model as well. So unfortunately, the RTK is only used for flight stability. And from that, if you hovered in one spot for quite a long time and you took a photo, theoretically you might have a more accurate geotag on that photo, but it's not actually translating that data from the RTK. And so just to make that very clear distinction as you think about investing in this particular type of drone. This Matrice 210 RTK that we have out here, uh, we have um, a dual gimbal and uh, we have an XT thermal camera, a FLIR, and we also have the X5S camera that we can mount on this. So the, the X5S the X5S camera is really nice because you can put different lenses on it and when we're doing mapping with this we're putting a 15 millimeter lens which gives us that nice wide angle but it's really crisp imagery. So it's very close to what you'd get with a Phantom 4 Pro and as well as the uh, the 90 millimeter lens that we could put on that that's a great inspection lens so we're going to be using that today to do some power line inspection and transformer inspection to kind of see how that functionality works as well this is the 15 millimeter lens that we're using for mapping it's an olympus lens and we attach it right onto the x5s camera so here's the uh, it's a 45 millimeter lens but it doubles up to 90 uh, when we put it on this x5 so we're just going to mount that on this dual gimbal, just like you'd mount on an Inspire. It's kind of the same process. You have to add a balancing ring to the lens in order to balance it on there because it's such a, a long lens. Gotcha. And it's been, uh, it's made out of a fiber compound, so it's lighter than you would expect it to be. Notice that you have to actually mount this on the left side of the drone uh, or it won't work. So the dual gimbal is set up in a very specific way uh, that you have to mount the cameras on the left and then the thermal on the right. Back to this, this uh, data piece here. Why you, not put it there? Yeah, you have all this room in the back that you can put the SD card, but they actually put it right here. They put it right here behind this RTK. Uh, so you really can't even get to it. It's really tough to get to. So we're going to have to actually have a pair of tweezers to uh, to try to get that SD card out some of the time, uh, especially if your hands are cold. So yeah, one of the little design iterations that uh, could be improved, we think. 
Out on the pairing of the batteries, the voltage has to be uh, in tandem with each other so that one doesn't die completely and uh, you know they both sort of drain at the same time. So when you pair them, you actually kind of keep those batteries as a unit together when you're because uh, it takes dual batteries with the Matrice 210. RTK, so you have to keep them paired so the voltage stays relatively the same and one battery doesn't die faster than the other and so forth. With that, you know, if you'll notice, I have marks on them, it's just letters, yep. and they're paired. And you pair them with the Go4 app, and it's important that they be paired. Gotcha. Nice little case right here, too. This game with it, it's actually pretty good for a factory case, but they make a nice one that's a mere 700 bucks. They make one where you don't have to tear it down. Gotcha. This is a great day. It's a beautiful day in Siletz, Oregon, and we've flown the Matrice 210 RTK. Had a great time. Uh, just special thanks to Harold, who's uh, now packing this thing away. Harold is with a company called Aerial Inspect. Say hey, Harold. Hey. Nice. So, uh, this is why I do what I do. I just love this stuff. And uh, in between 3D scan processing and drone mapping, I get to play with new toys. So right now I'm just going to download some of this uh, data that we collected today on my Alienware. And uh, we'll show you the results in, in probably high definition. You guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll talk to you again very soon.